Here is another little garden space. I'm going to tell you more about it. Basically, uh, that was just bare ground as well. And uh, I had a dump truck, big 10 wheeler, drop a big load of uh, it basically bottom land. It's not A grade topsoil, but I uh, put it right there. I've put wood chips in there, rototilled it in, put the little fence around there. It's nothing, nothing glamorous, but uh, it does the job. And uh, I've got some, some, just some, some scrap logs laying around the edge just to kind of keep the, uh, the soil in all the way around. And um, I've got it all planted, packed it down so the seeds kind of get locked into the dirt. The rain came last night and boom, um, my garden's in, in gear. That uh, Swiss chard there has been in all winter long. So... Uh, this year, 2012, it's April, early April, I've got some, some peas in, They're right in there, some peas, and uh, some corn starts right there, and I have a bunch more um, beans and corn, and I have uh, several other things in here, like starting right in here, I have some onions, and um, some carrots, some lettuce and spinach. Lots of corn, lots of beans, lots of peas in this garden. That is a peach tree. I planted that when it was small. It's, it's jamming. It's doing well. This right there is a nut tree. A hazelnut tree. I think I need to get a mate for it because it's not, it's not producing nuts. But the thing is just going crazy. I love that, tr love that bush. I just hope someday it produces a bunch of nuts and uh, that's the garden I've got a little place to walk right around it's all sloped so when the rain comes the water doesn't pool doesn't cause problems I can walk right around the little circle last year I had it designed a little differently this year I'm gonna try this this little technique I have some uh, grapes right there next to my guitar stand <laughs> trying to hold it up not doing too well Soil is too acidic over there. I didn't dig a big enough hole. There were some rocks in the ground. So anyway, it's just kind of holding holding on there. But uh, the Swiss chard sure good. And I hope to have a lot of food come out of this garden. Your situation might be totally different. You might have a, a, a backyard in the city or whatever that it's, uh, you know, it's just grass right now. But... Um, this is this is a situation that's in the mountains, it's in the woods, the soil's not that great, so I've built it all up and, and this is what I have. I'm not trying to win any awards with beautiful fences and all that crap. This is just scrap fencing I got from my neighbors and this tr tree, little trees that I cut up and pounded in the ground with a sledgehammer and, and it does the job. There it is. And hopefully I'll have a nice garden. I, I might... Uh, go along that fence row and spray a little roundup and get rid of all those weeds right there because those things are menacing. All right, that's the story. The Riley Ranch Health Club Retreat Center, 18-hole golf course, Olympic-sized swimming pool, bowling, 24-hour massage, horseback riding, etc., etc. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day and happy gardening. Peace. Last but not least, a little bonus track here. This is another space underneath my porch. And uh, I've brought in all this dirt here too. And it's all, it's, it's, it's real soft. And so it grows things really well. I've got some uh, potatoes down there. And I'm going to plant the fire out of this. Um, this year. As soon as um, I'm ready, I'm going to enrich it maybe put some of that miracle grow in here just to give it a fresh little kick and uh, this will be another third area for growing there you go trying to do the uh, back to nature thing I believe in independence freedom people uh, if they can provide for themselves and live off the grid and away from the government and not have to depend on everybody and they don't have to live in the city, bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. 
more power to them. Different strokes for different folks. This is how I roll, and uh, I just love it here. I'm like a I'm like a bird sitting in a treehouse. It's very peaceful, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.